the most important fight in the heavyweight division and one of the most important fights in the whole of boxing is Alexander Usyk versus Tyson Fury. Two unbeaten world champions battling for the most coveted prize in sports, the undisputed world heavyweight title. There hasn't been an undisputed heavyweight bout since Lewis Holyfield II in 1999. Boxing fans like myself have been waiting 24 years for another one. 24 years. Tyson Fury had two opportunities to fight Alexander Usyk for Undisputed. He scuppered it in early 2022 by demanding an unnecessary tune-up when he just fought Deontay Wilder two months earlier, and he ducked it earlier this year by turning down a career-high payday to fight Usyk in Saudi Arabia. Whenever his promoter Frank Warren is confronted about this, he concocts a number of flimsy excuses all of which I've totally debunked in previous videos on this channel. But his latest tactic is to try and divert attention away from Tyson Fury by bringing up Anthony Joshua. Who's Joshua fighting? What's Joshua doing? Don't point the finger at Tyson. Anthony Joshua is not a world champion. He isn't even a mandatory challenger or a number one contender. He's not in the heavyweight title picture. We wanna see the best fight the best, number one versus number two. Anthony Joshua has already been thrashed three times. And in his comeback fight against Franklin, he was scared of his own shadow. Who he's fighting and what he's doing is completely irrelevant to an undisputed heavyweight title fight. Usyk versus Fury, that's the fight we wanna see. That's the fight the division needs. But Frank Warren wants to divert our attention away from Fury ducking that fight by bringing up ex-champion Anthony Joshua. It's the most obvious and pathetic attempt at diversion I think I've ever seen. It will be like Terence Crawford deciding to duck Errol Spence and then trying to divert attention towards ex-champion, your Dennis Ugas. Who's Ugas fighting? What's Ugas doing? Don't point the finger at me. That would be ridiculous, right? Well, that's exactly what Frank Warren's doing here with Tyson Fury. In January last year, during the negotiations for the Usyk Fury fight, John Fury, Tyson's dad, came out with the seemingly random and bizarre claim that Francis Ngannou, a man who's never boxed before in his life, posed a bigger threat to his son Tyson than Alexander Usyk. That should have given you the heads up right there about what Team Fury's true intentions were. Usyk accepted a deal to fight Fury in Saudi. That's a fact. Whereas Fury rejected a deal. Frank Warren would later make the spurious claim that Saudi didn't have a suitable venue to host the fight and they needed to wait for a new stadium to be built in the summer. Utter nonsense. Usyk saw no issue over venues. That's why he signed. He'd already had a big fight in Saudi Arabia previously against Anthony Joshua. There's numerous arenas in that country that could have comfortably accommodated Usyk Fury. But the Gypsy King and Frank Warren had to come up with some excuse to get out of the fight that would give them plausible deniability so they started nitpicking over venues. It's complete and utter nonsense. And you know, you've got to figure that they're playing for time. Fury is 34 years old and Usyk is 36. The legs are the first thing to go in boxing and Usyk relies on his legs a lot. They're trying to age him out, just like Canelo did with Golovkin. Fury's only got one belt and no mandatory challengers, so he's free to cherry pick easy opponents like Francis Ngannou and keep himself well preserved. Whereas Usyk has got three belts and therefore three mandatory challengers. So he's being forced to fight much tougher opposition. And two of those mandatories are Frank Warren fighters. So you can see what Frank's doing here. He wants to throw a couple of his pawns at Usyk first to see if they can beat him or at least damage him before he sacrifices his king, Tyson Fury. That's the game at play here. He says that since Usyk is currently tied up with mandatories, there's no one else for Tyson Fury to fight other than Francis Ngannou. What an absolute whopper. Frank Sanchez is ranked number four by the WBC and Martin Bacoli is ranked number seven. They've both said they're available to fight Tyson Fury. Sanchez is unbeaten. Bacoli's coming off an eight fight winning streak, been knocking people out left and right. Tyson Fury is the unbeaten WBC world heavyweight champion and not only the self-proclaimed greatest heavyweight of his generation, but also the self-proclaimed greatest heavyweight of all time. Surely it's not beyond such an esteemed fighter to make a voluntary defense of his title against Sanchez or Bacoli. That's the least he can do since he ducked Usyk. Muhammad Ali had 25 world heavyweight title fights. Tyson Fury has had six. Three of them were against the same man. Surely Fury would at least attempt to match the standard set by a man who he claims to be greater than. But no, 
Tyson Fury has instead decided to fight a man who's never even boxed before in his entire life. If Frank Warren tries to dismiss Sanchez or Bacoli by claiming that nobody knows them, well, nobody knew Tom Schwartz or Otto Wallen either, Frank. But you still had Tyson Fury fight them on BT Sport pay-per-view. So don't even try that one. Tyson Fury, his dad John, and Frank Warren are attempting to con the fans by trying to deflect blame towards irrelevant parties and spread their twisted narrative all over the media. We, the paying public, who have put money in these people's pockets, need to let them know that we're not falling for it and we're not having it. Every time you pipe up with lies and deceit, we'll be right there to slap you right back down. And this will go on for as long as you want it to go on. If you want it to stop, then fight Usyk ASAP and the best contenders available. End of.